which is what I'm doing. <laughs> Budgets are moral documents, and Republicans would have you believe we have two choices, and that is to raise taxes or cut programs. And as progressives, we know that's not true. Uh, that we can, in fact, make smart investment in growth that will provide more revenue that we can reinvest in our people and in the programs that we care about. I will review some of the ideas that I heard Patrick speak about with regard to revenue investments and expansion of services. With the revenue side, Delegate Hope's focus is on fair taxes. He signed on to the National Congressional Progressive Caucus Budget, which, as you know, proposes higher taxes on the wealthy and fairness in corporate taxes. In April, he held a press conference at the IRS with a, a petition in hand with 33,000 signatures on it supporting that budget. It would create a new bracket for those whose annual income, not total wealth, but whose annual income is more than a million. It would only affect the portion of their income over a million dollars. It would raise over a trillion dollars in 10 years in revenue. That could be put back into investments in our people and in our economy, which needs to be a budget priority. Investment in infrastructure, in ways that creates jobs is critical. We need improvements in our road systems. We need to rebuild crumbling and unsafe bridges. We need public works programs to rehire teachers and public safety workers. Patrick supports Elizabeth Warren's plan to reduce the cost of school loans. Because we're on a path right now, if we continue on this path, only rich kids will be able to afford college. These kinds of investments lift people out of poverty and it adds to our tax base. With this increased revenue from these investments, we can expand health care and our economic safety nets. As a guiding principle, Patrick believes that health care is a human right. He is prepared not only to fight off attacks against the ACA, but to expand it to include, for example, free preventive care for all Americans. He wants to fight to protect all of our economic safety nets, including Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. He's pledged that he will never vote for cuts to these programs.